Alright, hey, 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 Earth Angels, good morning, good morning, good morning. Brother Gil here, uh, just sending some agape love into the universe. This will be another episode of Agape Love Greetings, which is one of the tags under Brother Gil's Third Eye View on YouTube. This is all new stuff that I'm being moved to do and so uh, here we are I pray that everyone who happens to be under the sound of my voice is just having an extraordinary Wednesday that this day is bringing you even now a sense of love and peace and security in the face of all that we are dealing in and dealing with in today's climate I pray for all of us who are still dealing with issues around uh, the COVID-19 virus. We're praying that you are finding what's necessary to give you peace and comfort and security. And that hush, that all of uh, your rock, please. I knew this was going to happen. I knew it. I should put you out of here. That's Rock. He is so small. Whenever he sees me doing something that doesn't involve him, he starts to whine and wants my attention. But uh, that's my fault, too. We spoiled him. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, please find and do what makes you comfortable. Uh, those of us who are, are seeing and have different perspectives, more power to us. Uh, but do what makes you secure feeling secure in your person with your family and uh, your loved ones okay and so I just want to put some agape love into the universe uh, we are dealing uh, in a new day and a new time and a new hour of concern and perspectives and actually uh, so on some on many levels freedom of speech there seems to be so much uh, sensitizing and uh, so much suppression and editing of people's points of view. Uh, so it, it, sometimes it fringes on uh, almost a communist kind of attitude. Sit down. It almost fringes on, uh, you know, in a certain period of time in the world, uh, everything was kind of surveyed. And if you weren't really speaking from a perspective of understanding in re as it relates to the status quo, the mainstream train of thought, you were banned and you were considered you know, whatever, communist and or to the left and or whatever the, those terms become when you're expressing your truth. And so here we are in 2021 and it, it, on some levels, it feels like we've reverted back to that kind of thing. That as opposed to the democratic society where we, we can express freely who we are and what our visions are, what our perspectives are on any subject, uh, especially now with this COVID thing, uh, things are being suppressed, things are being edited, things are being, uh, there's a term that, I, that always escaped me when I, I'm trying to speak on that. Uh, but anywho, people's voices, true voices, if it's not mainstream, are being silenced. And I find that so interesting in 2021 where, where, where technology and all these things are developing, yet we've taken some steps backwards to try to suppress people's truths. It's very interesting. So I'm saying all that to say this. If you aren't able to express your authentic truth now, when will you do it? even at the risk of being silenced, even at the risk of being pulled from the uh, 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 platforms that you're on. Uh, I, I'm living with that, and it's okay, because one way or another, I will still speak my truth. Now, 
as an intelligent person and an evolving man, I will look at the perimeters and hopefully stay within those perimeters. But I will not be silenced. My truth has to speak because that's who I am. That's who God is using me to become. With all due respect to everybody's perspectives, trust your deep, inseated, embedded, authentic truth. It is purposely given. It is you have grown and and experienced and developed muscles so that you can speak from a place of authority. No one needs to give you permission to speak. We have that power. We have that right. So, in, since we're in a society, and 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 until we get our own platforms, there are rules. Some I'm still learning about, uh, and so we can work if you will, within those confines, if you want to remain on certain platforms, regardless of how I feel about it. And I, I think it's really quite interesting. It's almost like uh, somebody is paying certain people to keep a certain image and a certain dialogue and a certain, you know, transfer of information. And that's fine. But uh, like all the scholars have done, that's why I love writing. There are ways to get through that and still get the truth into people's minds. What I'd like to see in America come back in, 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 in triplicates is critical thinking. Because who controls the narrative controls the mind. You understand me? And so because we have taken some steps back in terms of being able to truly express who we are about certain things, and then there are other Groups who can just say whatever and it's never an issue. That's America. Seemingly. But now is not the time to diminish in speaking our truth. We, we are much more intelligent now. We're, we have much more access now. We can read and, 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 and study and, and pull up things on YouTube and what have you. To make sure that we are grounded in an understanding. Right? So now is not the time to shrink because people are silencing your efforts to share. Keep doing it. We need it. America need it. Our children's children need it. So we must find ways to continue to put truth into the universe. Not discouraging others from believing what they believe, but why should we be discouraged? Why should we be penalized for speaking what we believe, what our authentic truth speaks? You understand me? That's just kind of the way it is today. I have to deal. We all have to adjust. Uh, but I just want to encourage you. If God is moving you, it may not be God in your concepts, your precepts. If something is motivating you to speak, and it is truly the truth of what you believe, I believe it should be shared. If that's your duty, and my duty is to speak when the Spirit said, Gil, speak. Wherever it's taking me, I trust it. Okay, Brother Gil loves you. God loves you too. Have a beautiful Wednesday. Do something wonderful for yourselves and for someone else. Know that you are worthy. Know that you have power that no man, no platform, no thing can take unless you invite that Spirit in to do so. Right? Brother Gil loves you. God loves you too. Have a beautiful Wednesday. Au revoir. <laughs>